come again to investigate on the wonderful forces of nature. Now the car says it's 83 degrees. I call it BS because it's hot. We're wearing jerseys. <laughs> I guess, I guess, because usually it's nice and cold outside and I'm bundled up in a blanket when we're tailgating. But we are on our way to McDonald's. Usually we have alcohol. Oh, we didn't bring any. And there's no tailgating allowed. And yeah. I, yeah, we could have been. Here. Yeah, that's true. We didn't want to break the rules and risk not being able to attend the event because that would suck. Our one chance to see the Canes in how many months? Almost five for us because that was the last like home game. Literally the game when quarantine all happened was supposed to be the Canes Penguins game. Yeah. I was crushed. Yeah, they had. Talk about heartbreak. But it's okay. We got refunded. <laughs> that was like $400 for you and me to go to that game because I wanted really good seats because it was going to be my first time seeing the penguins in person. And I was looking forward to it so much because the Lord and Savior, Sidney Crosby, had like just started back up in the season two from his injury. Going back to McDonald's. Kind of got sidetracked there. McDonald's is like our tradition place that we like to go to uh, to get tailgating food since we don't have one of those grills to do it ourselves because in McDonald's is super cheap. Plus it's great, it pairs well with alcohol. <laughs> you know, it, I, it really does. That is, right there is the redneck sommelier right there. It pairs well with alcohol. Wow, well, yeah, that did sound pretty ratchet, but. Yeah, no, <laughs> you would. I get yourself a McDouble. Hell yeah. And it pairs well with a good It on. does, yeah, like I'm just a connoisseur. I'm just kidding. On Twitter, they announced that we can send off the Canes because they are leaving tonight to go to Toronto for the Stanley Cup. What What's like the technical Te word of it? The playing round, which I believe they're calling them the Stanley Cup qualifiers at this point. If they go all the way, then they will be in Toronto up until, um, I don't know the time frame of it, but the conference championships, in which case they will move over to Edmonton, which is where the conference championships and the cup final will be held. And we have exhibition games, was it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yes. The Kings of this only week? played one. Yeah. yeah. But I was just talking about. Oh, yeah, I yeah. gotcha. Yeah. And, and then August 1st is technically when everything kicks off. As Griffin mentioned, hopefully the Canes do make it all the way through. It'd be nice if they can beat the Rangers because they did not beat the Rangers at all this season. Like they lost every single game against them. It's okay. Prayers needed. I'm kind of sad because like Mika, Mika Sabinajad, I like him. I respect him. He's like a cool player. And then you got the Penguins going against the Canadians. Now what I did like a lot about the Penguins leading up to these playoff qualifying whatever you want to call them rounds is they had a bunch of little scrimmage games that you could watch live stream on the Penguins' YouTube. Yeah, it wasn't as tense as typical NHL hockey, but it was still cool to watch. It gave us something. That's something I wish the Canes would have done. While we wait for our food, also in the interim of all of this, Seattle is getting a new team in the NHL, team number 32. 32, yeah. Now it's even, and their team name is called Kraken. I really like that, that's what I was hoping for, because Kraken is just badass. If you've ever been to SeaWorld in Orlando and rode that ride, pretty badass. I personally was thinking the sockeye would be cool, Seattle sockeyes, which I know a lot of people are like, what is a sockeye? It's a fish. I thought it was original and unique, but so is Kraken. Oh, here's our food. Mm -hmm. uh, Carolina Hurricanes. We're going to their Ooh. playoff send off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Safety first with the Bye Bye Germs hand sanitizer. Got this in my Glow Addict skincare box for June. Look at you in your new jersey. Yeah. <laughs> Griffin's second customized jersey. Now, would you say number 88 is your favorite player? I would say he's in strong contention for number one. Actually, yes. Who's who he fighting against? <laughs> God, uh, about 15 other people. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no. I guess that's like me choosing between my favorite makeup brands, right? Like who's number one? Sure. I, honestly, I don't know who would number one be. Right. Like, I don't know if there's like a brand that is Brock McGinn to me. <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why I choose Natchez as like my favorite player, but first and foremost, it's I guess play style is Insane. Yeah, that one goal, goal of the year. Oh, that was, it was sick. I think top 10, maybe even top five of the best goals of the season. I don't mean to divert traffic from your video, but just Google search Martin Natchez 
goal. It was a fantastic goal against Arizona, but that alone is a reason to be like, wow, this dude's freaking good. Uh, but also, he's like nice as hell. Oh yeah, um, we've met him a handful of times. Yeah, and off ice, like, he always tries to make sure that he talks to everybody, um, even if there's a bunch of people and it's annoying and he wants to go home after practice. He and Svetch will both still make time. Oh, we love Svetch. Yeah, plus he's kind of a savage when it comes to just talking like he's... The Kane's Corner. Yeah, Kane's Corner, he was... I miss those. Very much a savage. Who's your favorite player? Gee, I wonder. <laughs> All my jerseys have number 23. I wonder who that is. Dr. Pepper. We love Brock on this channel. Once again, Griffin starts talking and I don't have the camera on. I'm like, wait, 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 hold your thought. Let me get the camera out. Proceed. I was just saying, it feels weird because it feels like we're going to a game that we're, we know we're not going to a game. I know, it's so like, sad. There's no, there's no alcohol. <laughs> Priorities. Among other things. It's a bizarre feeling, but it's exciting all the same. And I see now why hockey will typically, the season will be over before summertime hits. Because, good God, I am drenched underneath this jersey. Ooh, sneak peek. Hey, take your top off. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is the adapting life, living with COVID, if you want to call it that. Sounds like a shitty reality TV show. Oh, because it is. I mean, at least they're doing something like this. Like, I don't know if the, the other teams are, but in a way, it's kind of cool to give the fans something. As you always say, this is why you can't have nice things. This is why I can't have nice things. I start really getting into this, what, October? Yeah, that was the, what was it, the Blue Jackets game? Yep. The away game that we were watching? Yeah. And ever since then, here well, we are. Specify what happened. So Griffin is watching the Columbus Blue Jackets and Canes away game. I see this one Canes player be pouting. And I'm like, why is he like arguing with the ref? Griffin's like, he got hit in the face with the puck. And I'm like, where? It was one of his cheekbones. He had blood. And I'm like, look at that cheekbone on fleek. I was dying just because, you know, put highlighter on cheekbone, so I'm dying. And I'm like, Griffin, who is this? And he's like, I've told you a thousand times, it's Brock McGinn. And I'm like, you don't hear his name, you always hear Ajo, Svetch, those two mainly. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be the biggest fan over here. Lo and behold, I like to believe I'm one of the biggest fans. I named my dang Animal Crossing Isle after <laughs> Also, my background on my phone, I'm just exposing myself. I have no shame. And so I started being a little bit more accepting to watching some more games. I'm like, I'm just gonna watch. Like, let's see what 23 can do. So I go to some home games. We went to Hockey Fights Cancer, Star Wars Night, and I became obsessed. Like, literally zero to 100 overnight, essentially. Like, I, I wanna go to all the watch parties because they do like these watch parties at the Ale House. And we learned about Kane's Corner, which they'll have some of their players kind of like a almost like a Q&A podcast style thing you can also have opportunities of getting some photos if you order some of the specials you can also put your name in a raffle to get to meet the players and that's how we first started meeting some of the players we met Svetch and Natchez at the Canes Corner a lot of fun I jumped on Svetch I'm sorry Svetch not sorry because I was so excited I'm like oh my god this is so cool been a really fun experience. I know Griffin has been loving it that I got into hockey. Never thought I would. There's another joke with hockey. Literally, it's been almost 10 years since you asked me to go to one of your hockey games yeah. at Western. <laughs> I said no. I have English class. It didn't hit Griffin until like after the fact that you don't have class on Saturdays. So I ended up buying season tickets for the next season. I'm like, this is just so much fun. We have our favorite section we like to sit at. To me, it's the best seating in the arena because you're center ice and you're a lot lower and you can just see everything so clear of the game. Plus you get really good warm-up spots because I love going to warm-ups. Seeing them all up close, especially Joel's yoga stretching. Love that. <laughs> so I get into this thing that me and Griffin can both love because we have conflicting schedules so at least we'd be able to spend time with each other for the games and this all happens. <laughs> I'm just like, are you kidding me? I think they still have plans for the next season. They really haven't talked about it. I mean, they're charging my credit card so they better get it together. And at least we know we'll have coverage for at least the first full week. We're gonna essentially just have that 
playing <laughs> all day, every day. Even if it's not a team that we pull for or a player, because we have a lot of individual players from other teams that we like to root for, like Pasta from Boston Bruins, Austin Matthews, the, the Leaves. Nathan McKinnon. No, oh wait, yeah. Oh, you said David and I thought of no, like- Nathan. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know why I thought of Corona McVirus. <laughs> I heard David and I, like that was the first thing that, I was like, no. Wait, didn't you say David? Is it David Pasternak? <laughs> I didn't say his first name, I didn't know his oh. first name was David. Okay, we're okay. Yeah, Nathan McKinnon. Yeah, the ad. I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Like, this is such an interesting situation for a thousand million bajillion different reasons, but I don't know who to root for in the Stanley Cup playoffs because I would like to see the Canes. A lot of the players on the team hasn't had a Stanley Cup win before, so for this situation to be it, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's definitely gonna be memorable, don't get me wrong. The Penguins have won three with Sydney's leadership. So it's like, if they win, I think it's cool. It's just another notch in their belt of having cups. And I think it's the Avs that hasn't won a cup in a while, yeah, too. Good. Like, those are like my three. I think out of the three, I'd like to see maybe the Penguins win it the most, and then like the Canes next year. Who knows what next year's gonna look like and the direction the world's going in right now. I'm kind of on the same line with it. Like, obviously I want to see the Canes win. For any rookie, yes, this will Nature's. be just yeah, Natchez is, though he's played in the NHL, he played in the NHL a couple times last season. This is his first full year as an NHLer, making him an actual rookie. And it kind of sucks if you're a rookie to make it to that level, but then to win it in front of... You're, it's just going to be and, family, yeah, I think. Family There's no fans. Just, yeah, it's just the family, and I think, like... I think that's why I kind of feel the same way about it is because we won't be there. And just going back to having season tickets for next year, a perk of that was you got to pay as the Canes played as if the playoffs were going to just happen like normal. So we had secured a slot of being able to go to the playoffs and if the Canes made it to the finals, like I was looking forward to that. I've heard playoff hockey is completely different. Um, I remember Griffin being completely over the top, <laughs> excited, what was it last year when the Canes made it to the playoffs and it's yes. been years and ironically, my boy keeping the Canes in. <laughs> before he was, before he gave any shits about hockey or brought him again. He scores the game-winning goal in Game 7 against the Washington Capitals, and... Who were? Who were the reigning Stanley Cup champions. Mm -hmm. And everybody expected, oh, it's going to be out of four. It's, they're going to get swept by the craps, but, you know, at least they made it to the playoffs. And no, they won, you know, they lost the first two games, and then they win the next two, the second two, the two at home. Then they lose when they're away. Then they win when they're back at home <laughs> and then they're back away for game seven and they pull off the victory in double overtime <sighs> i remember you being stressed yes i was quite stressed <laughs> and then when they won like i'm pretty sure the whole state heard you and you're probably like why didn't you get into hockey i wasn't really paying attention <laughs> yeah. when griffin said it i was like who who scored it he was like brock that was like another time that griffin mentioned well, on one of those many occasion times. Like, I can recall at least maybe three to five games that Griffin told me about Brock. And it just didn't click until that puck hit that cheekbone. I miss you. <laughs> oh, two different songs. I'm going, I miss you, I miss you. We are getting in line. Well, we're not first. Oh, snap, they're coming yeah. down. It's, it's like banging on the glass. I was say, you realize you can roll your window down during that. Let me on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> We're here an hour and a half early. I have no shame. Anything no. for Brock. Yes, I need food. Which you fries? want some burger and fries. I want my burgers and fries. I just got nuggets and fries. Okay. Now it's a mukbang. Uh, mukbang? Mukbang. Is it mukbang or mukbang? <laughs> I don't know. Leave us a comment below. How is it pronounced? I've heard so many different people either call it mukbang or mukbang. It depends who it is, I suppose. I don't know. I've never done one of those videos before until now with 
you. They got balloons. I can't tell if it's someone's birthday. This is how they're celebrating, or they got balloons <laughs> for the event. It's Sebastian's birthday. Wait, is it really Sebastian's birthday? Why didn't we get cupcakes? Because we didn't go to Food Lion. You didn't tell me beforehand. I would have said, let's stop and get cupcakes. Like how we celebrated Brock's birthday. Or is that just only for Brock? Only for Brock and Joel. Did we get cupcakes for Joel's birthday? Oh no, we got cupcakes for my birthday, but I thought they were for Joel instead. No. So Food Lion actually has pretty banging cupcakes. We got cupcakes for Brock's birthday, cupcakes for my birthday, and then the frosting change for Griffin's birthday. Oh, that frosting was so good. It was super sweet. It was kind of like that buttercream frosting. I had no idea it was Sebastian's birthday. Mm -hmm. Totally would have got cupcakes. That's how old he is today. 23. <laughs> yeah! Oh, he's a Leo. His ice presence doesn't really give me Leo vibes. But, except that one time, remember Turbo? Mm -hmm. He went, ah! That's when he got feisty and fiery. Okay. I would have got balloons too. I would have made a sign. I still had a poster from our uh, penguins can scan that we never got to make. All right, well, happy birthday, Sebastian. Looks like we're getting cupcakes on the way home. So this is where the buses are gonna be coming, right? I would assume so, yes. <laughs> if they send the buses out the other way, then that's just a you to the fan. Yeah, well, hopefully the bus driver doesn't come hauling ass. Like, oh guys, we're late for the flight. <laughs> we gotta get to the airport. It's a freaking private jet. Right, it's not like, there in any rush for departure? Because there's not like many flights going on anyway. Are they gonna miss their check-in time? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Sorry guys, you can't play in the tournament. Yeah, you know, you missed your check-in time. But I'm TSA pre-check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, TSA pre-check don't mean sh now. Wait, speaking of McDonald's drinks, I am still pissed about Orange High C being taken off the menu. I always used to love going to McDonald's just to get the Orange High C. Fruit punch? Ew. Yes. Even pink lemonade I would take. Can you look for orange high sea for me, please? Yes. Bombas? Yes. Thanks. And when I find it, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> you're not gonna, I thought you were saying you're not gonna buy it. No, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna come home and be like, guess what I got? And orange. I'll say Brock. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be sad, but then I'm gonna say orange high sea. And I'll be happy again. <laughs> Wow, you thought you were a comedian right there playing the Canes Gore. Yeah, we still have an hour <laughs> until they're supposed to be leaving. You be like this though. I'm clearly not the only one. But like for games? Oh you, yeah, no. you, you gotta be like the first one. Okay, 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 okay. There's a reason though. No. Yes. <laughs> what? Because you specified earlier. I love being you in- You love being there for warm-ups. Yeah, you do too. I do enjoy it, but it's not, I'm not like, oh, I've gotta be there for warm-ups. It's cool. It is very cool, but Seriously, like, the reason I get so paranoid is because you like to tailgate, right? I do. So she likes to tailgate. Yeah, my truly is in White Claws. Hell yeah. And she loves going down early for warm-ups. Hell yeah. Gotta see Brock so, up close and then Joel stretching. Here's the kicker on it. If you are late getting to the door, then mm -hmm. you're late getting into the building. If you're late getting into the building, it's pretty much Hunger Games for a spot up front. It's first come, first serve, unless you have a ticket for those front seats. Mm -hmm. There's Stormy. Where? Uh, over there. I don't see him. Yeah, we can see him with the towel! Come on, Stormy! <laughs> Stormy! Backing up, So back, backing up. Backing up, backing up. If you want to have a full tailgate experience, okay, you have to cut it short if you want to go in for warm-ups and yeah. be up front. Yeah, usually that's 5, why... 545 is our cutoff. Yes, yeah, so that's why I'm typically like, oh, we gotta get there early. The freak out. Yes, the freak out, because <laughs> the earlier we get there, the longer we have a chance to tailgate and uh -huh. pregame before the game. Or at least get in line early enough to where we can run down and get our spots, because we have specific spots, and there's a specific spot, I'm not even gonna reveal where it is, <laughs> but there's a specific Griffin's spot in the arena secret spot. that, like, if you go there, there are there are no seats right behind you. Mm -hmm. So you can stand there and nobody can come over and tell you, hey, you have to move, unless they're from the arena and somehow they want us to move. Unless somebody says that, that's our spot. And on top of that, I can actually stand behind you and mm -hmm. we can let more people in on that area if needed. Just don't ruin the chances of getting a puck. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is like the most redneck thing I've ever done this in my life. hockey right here, baby. <laughs> Woo! 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 
this is definitely some kind of hockey experience today. Let me cross see. this off the bucket list. <laughs> there, there's gonna be a lot of guys on that bus that are just gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm sure they're excited though oh, yeah, to see no. the fans, but yeah, it's pretty so, ratchet. So I can't speak for any other area because I'm sure tailgating happens, but I feel like, and I'm biased, I feel like in the tailgating in the south is like we've got it down to an art form. There's Same. a whole method to I, and it. When I say we, I don't mean you and me, I mean this whole area. Yeah. Yes, PNC is kind of hell and gone from anywhere, mm -hmm. it seems like, by comparison to other arenas. Yeah. But what you get in exchange for that mm -hmm. is an ample amount of tailgating space. You know, most places parking, you're gonna be in a parking deck of some sort. Well, this is also shared with a college. Yes, it is. I'm kind of like going back and forth on what I'm trying to say here on this, but like, you know, it, like look at the arena right now. What professional venue, sports venue, aside from like a football stadium. Exactly. But in particular, an arena has so much space to it to where you genuinely don't have to worry about parking far unless you just don't want to pay for parking. You can come in here, load up with, you know, your grills and everything. And for a hockey crowd to do that, it's really entertaining to watch it. Like, I've heard other players have said things like, it's kind of cool to see, like, passing through, like, tailgating areas. <laughs> And seeing the fans out there, like during the playoffs last season. Like, Any excuse to drink, I am there. Oh, they're interviewing the people back there. Does it say happy birthday, Sebastian? I think it's an Ajo jersey. She's going to be on the news. I wanted to actually buy like legit hurricane warning flags. From the eye? No, like, oh, like, like legit ones. <laughs> like if there's an actual hurricane. Yeah. And I was going to be like, I'm gonna, I was going to talk to the HOA and see if it was cool to fly them during playoffs. <laughs> yeah, okay, good luck with that. Hang it right above your Penguins one. Hey now, they have a better chance of staying in than the Canes and that's the T. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shots fired. <laughs> oh, this is my flag. And how you were sad that the Storm Squad, Griffin's favorite people. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait. <laughs> Gryffindor has left the chat. <laughs> They're cheerleaders. Some NHL teams call them ice girls. But they have to dress so skimpy. That's the thing that irritates me. So the guys get the uh, ice cheerleaders and the girls get the hockey dudes. Is that what it's implying? I have no idea what it's implying. You gotta have some form of like stimulation. Oh. Yeah. That's. A... I know it's a weird. That's outdoor. how you're gonna. Because some people are just like, oh, this is boring. And then, which, if, you, if you're saying this is boring when you're watching hockey, yeah, you're not watching hockey, you're intense. watching baseball and you're that hammered. And it goes by pretty fast, which is good because your girl's ADHD like no other. Yeah. See, I don't know if hockey is the best or worst sport for somebody who has ADHD. When I watch it, like I get hyper-focused into it. Let's take a sport like baseball or football, as you mentioned. That's where the ADHD on the other side of the spectrum kicks in. There's so many stoppages in play. Yeah that I get bored and I cannot focus. Whereas hockey, it's so fast paced, not as many stoppages in place where I can follow along and understand what's going on yeah. instead of a coach or the team trying to decide what their next play is gonna be. I'm great. pretty sure Brenda Moore just passed by. Yeah? Yeah, that uh, one car that just passed by a second ago. Yeah? I didn't get a good look at the face. Some dude with groomed short hair and a suit. I was gonna say, don't we have photos with him? Yeah, we do. Or no, you have photos with him. You can look up just to confirm if that was him in that truck. Me, I did not get my photo taken with him. I'm not here for him. I'm here for one purpose and one purpose only. I quoted your favorite movie, Parent Trap. We haven't watched it in so long because we don't have Freeform no more. Admittedly, I'm not losing sleep over that. Really? Yeah. Oh, I kind I of am. Well, too bad we don't have Disney Plus or anymore. Yeah, okay, we were talking about stoppages in play. When you're watching football on TV. Oh my gosh, it's so painful. Just watch it and see how many times. Take they, a they, shot every time. I'm just yeah, kidding. Tommy's coming back. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. They stole my idea that I never actually did. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, that's exactly what you wanted to do. But it's a smaller flag. No, that's the same size. It is? Yep. Oh, it just looks small. Oh, they're pulling them into the parking lot because they're doing overflow. 
Ah, so they don't get a good spot, do they? Not as good as we have. Yes, the Griffin freak out. Well, Griffin always wants me to get a good spot so I can see my mans up close. No way this could be any more this way is if every single person had a truck. Oh my gosh, like, right. Like if I had oh, a truck. Oh, rip to tiny. Yeah. If I had my truck still, you realize we'd be sitting in the bed of it right now. Oh yeah, and I We'd know. have a fan that I would I would in. have an inflatable pool in the oh, bed. Yeah, no, what we would just do is we'd just lay a tarp down in the back and pour water into oh. it. And then we take another hose and you put, run that from the exhaust into the hot tub, you get bubbles. I don't want a hot tub when it's 95 degrees out. I want a cool little okay, so, kiddie pool. Yeah, cool little kiddie pool there, fine. Yeah. Okay, so Griffin just informed me as I'm working on an Instagram post that <laughs> some of the players are coming by. So I don't know why I'm still sitting here holding the camera. Cinematics. Yeah? Yeah. Optimal angles. Optimal angles. Uh, I got your, got your bun. Yes. <laughs> so, now that Not the camera's important. finally focused on me. First of all, I'm wearing this with a tank top, so I feel like a tool. But, something fun. This is the Kane's new logo here. As of two years ago, I believe it was. Um, and some people don't like it. Some people prefer the other one. The other one was a, it was very similar, but it's like you take this flag off and you're good. Problem with that, big problem with that is tropical storm. that is yes that is a tropical storm warning flag this is an actual hurricane warning flag and fun fact right there is the state of north carolina in the outline take that south carolina boom is anyone else coming <laughs> anyone else uh, dougie Woo! i like how he's hawking back look at this damn fool oh, over here <laughs> and there's bees what? I thought I saw a bee. No, or a wasp. A dragonfly. Oh. Let's try to catch it. Pull out our Animal Crossing nuts. If you flip out of your car and bust your ass. It would be funny as all get out. You're not wrong about that. Talk about content. We're going for a third lap over here. Let's go, Cades! 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 Oh, it's got the siren on it. And what is happening right now? This is what reality has turned into. Glad I decided to vlog this yeah. type of experience. Awesome. Well, not even that. It's just like, what is happening right now? It's content, baby! I'm over here sitting like, this is kind of hard to process. I'm sitting in a car to send off the canes in a bus. I think Trocheck was in there. I don't know who else, or maybe Joel might have been with him. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> what? Joel. Oh my, I'm gonna be so crushed if Joel's not renewed for next season. But if he goes to Seattle, I'd be okay with that. Oh, I would totally get a Joel Edmondson. Kraken jersey. Hell yeah might not be able to get to watch them play. This is pretty much just as much fun. Do you think you're not gonna be working as well after this? <laughs> well, you're lucky I'm not hitting the car horn. Yeah, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> fighting the car horn. Because <laughs> it's not loud enough for me. <laughs> Woo!
half for all <laughs> for just a little bit of time but hey so to appease griffin we Wait, decided to go to the airport i asked you like 20 times do you do you want to actually do that or no like, <laughs> I jokingly was like, yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm gonna take you seriously because you said, yeah, sure, because if I, if I didn't go, then you'd be like, well, I said we should go. Low key, I almost cried when I saw the buses. I don't know if it's because I missed Brock that much or if it's hormones or a combination of both. A combination of both. Well, we have nothing better to do on a Sunday afternoon except play Animal Crossing and maybe film, maybe edit, but Brock. Priorities. Oh, there's a car with flags. <laughs> I'm gonna turn where they turn. <laughs> We're going on an adventure, Charlie. Oh, yeah, here's some Keynes people behind. We're not the only one! Hopefully we're not leading them in the wrong way. I've never been to this part of the airport before. Ah, uh, there's a bus. Oh, are those the- there's the buses! Oh, stop! Go behind those cars! Go behind! Go behind! We found the buses! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, talk about timing right there. Are people going up? Let's go up! <gasps> there she goes, there she goes again. Okay. So earlier, Griffin had asked, which car should we take, mine or his? I said his by default because this is the car we normally go to in games with. It's just a bigger vehicle, better for tailgating, but... It was a dumb question for me to ask. Why? She has a penguin sticker on her car. No cane sticker, but a penguin's one. <laughs> right, right, exactly, because that would have made sense. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on that last one, you know, when we were at the airport. Right, even better. Because they would have had, like, not like they're really paying attention, but it's like... Oh, they could have been. Um, Jacob, Slavin, and Andre Svechnikov, they had, um, like, videos on their Instagram stories of this. If my car would have been in, they would have seen a penguin sticker. They'd be like, this bitch. Hey, I have to have some loyalty to the penguins. Yeah. They're the team that... I was like, hell yeah to, cause who can say no to an adorable penguin? It's all about the mascot, the co like that's why I like the Seattle Seahawks if I had to choose oh. a football team. I was about to be like, you mean the Kraken? No, <laughs> if I had to choose, cause like I really like the Seahawks' colors. Like, they have some pretty colors. And I know that your parents have wanted me to be a Clemson fan. I don't like orange. <laughs> <laughs> it is not in my color wheel. Well, that was definitely something, but it was a lot of fun. I am glad that the Canes did something like this. It definitely got us pumped for the exhibition game on Wednesday. And then kicking off the Stanley Cup qualifying, whatever rounds you want to call them on Saturday. So I know I'm feeling a little bit more hyped, even though we can't physically be there at a game, but we'll have the TVs rolling literally all day with hockey. Hopefully they feel loved. They either feel loved or they're just like, I gotta get the hell out of this place. This place is crazy. <laughs> I think there's a cool aspect to it. Yeah. Because I doubt some bigger teams that have a much larger fan base could have done something like this. On the bright side, you can go to the grocery store and your odds of being recognized are fairly low here. I mean, you think people in, you think any Pittsburgh player can walk into a grocery store? Yeah, Sidney Crosby hires someone to do his grocery shopping right. for him. <laughs> and obviously right now they wouldn't be, but right. in general, like, that's, yeah. that to me is something I think is an appeal to this, is that you can pretty much go about your day in peace. You know, and I say this crazed fans as we just drove to the fucking airport, um, but it was all in good fun. Or bugging them when they're trying to get just some groceries at the grocery store. Case exactly. in point, Nino. Right. Yeah, we did see Nino at the 
yeah grocery store that was pretty cool hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you for watching and helping us celebrate that hockey is back and wishing the canes luck as they travel to toronto hopefully they make it pretty darn far down into it maybe they'll even end up in the cup who knows let me know in the comments below who you're rooting for if you're not a canes fan it's okay if you're a penguins fan thumbs up if you're a connor mcdavid or alex ovechkin go ahead and dislike this video i will not take it personally and i'll see you in the next video